Im Rahmen einer ambulanten Gastroskopie bei Short-Segment Barrett-Ösophagus fiel bei unserem nächsten 53-jährigen Patienten eine suspekte Schleimhautläsion mit histologischem Nachweis eines hochdifferenzierten Adenokarzinoms auf. In der Umgebungsdiagnostik bestand kein Anhalt für ein wandüberschreitendes Wachstum oder eine Fernmetastasierung, sodass Professor Bergmann jetzt die endoskopische Abtragung durchführen wird. Jack, teach us how, what to do. Fritz, good morning. Nice to hear you back. Uh, the, 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 the faculty has given me the most terrible lesion to resect. Uh, anything that Jürgen is doing on the other room is just ridiculously uh, easy <laughs> if you compare this with the uh, huge lesion that I have to resect. I'm really very uh, anxious because it's such a big lesion that I can show you it's right here. <laughs> And um, it's a very small lesion. And you can see how you can best find this with the small cap on the tip of the endoscope. Mm -hmm. And with white light endoscopy, it's very subtle. And congratulations to the endoscopist who picked this up. And then with NBI on this 190 Olymposcope, we can better see this. We have activated a near focus and then maybe just put it on the water and, well, you could have fooled me. Um, but this is the area that has been targeted for biopsy and has been revised as being uh, dysplastic. We, uh, we've checked the other areas of the Z-line, again, by using this, by using this cap. And what we will do is that we will place some, some markers here and then resect this in a single piece with uh, a new ligation device called the Captivator from uh, Boston Scientific. Lesions like this, or actually inspection of the Z-line in this position, can be difficult. The cap helps you. The alternative is to do a retroflex maneuver in the cardia, so rotate towards the fundus push in the scope, rotate the handle in front of your chest, and then to gently move the endoscope towards the same position that we had in the integrate position, which is here, and to really inspect the Z-line from below, to really see that we're not missing out on anything else, because this is the area that we were inspecting in the integrate position activate the nearby focus and pull in my scope, and then NBI for a final inspection of really what is extremely a very small and subtle abnormality. Um, so what we will do is that we will place one or two coagulation markers for me to just find my way back if I'm in there with the other device. And you may want to come back and to uh, see how we then do a single piece resection of this. Okay, I think this is very impressive how you expose the lesion um, in favor of the best um, visualization. Very helpful. This is just good. And actually, I will only place one mark. Yeah. So the only thing I need to do is to find my way back to this area here that I'm going to resect. So here is the area of interest. Just to prove that, here was my marking so I can find it back. And what we will do is we will do a resection. So if you bear with us, suctioning in the lesion, releasing the band, pulling back the scope, a little bit of flushing to get rid of the blood. Beautiful, you can nicely see that you have caught the right, um, the right lesion. So it was easy to, uh, to suck this in. Now open up the snare completely, and I need to close the snare parallel to the esophageal wall, so I'll pull back the endoscope, lift up the scope, and just push in the snare just to see that it will close parallel to the esophageal wall, so close the snare completely, and now I let go of my scope and I can see that I'm below the band. Okay, Jack, thank you. This was great. Okay. Very instructive. <clears throat>
Die Histologie zeigte ein gut differenziertes intramukosales Adenokarzinom. Die Resektionsränder waren allseits karzinomfrei. Zu unserer nächsten Endoskopie-Live-Veranstaltung darf ich Sie recht herzlich am 27. und 28. April 2018 nach Berlin einladen.